Hi, my name is Kendra Appleton and I play Sophie Landman, the German girl in In Your Dreams. I'm 17 years old, I'm in my last year of school and I'm juggling acting and my final exams, which is going to be fun going overseas. Hi, Ben and Sam, right? I'm Sophie, I work at the cafe here. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, I'm Ben. I think I figured that. I have a relatively broad range of interests. I enjoy target pistol shooting, horse riding and ballet. I took up target shooting about four years ago because my father did it and I haven't really looked back since. It's an amazing skill and I, I really enjoy the precision and the, um, the focus that just allows you to forget everything else. It's pretty much the same story with ballet. I only took it up about two or three years ago and I think it was just something that I really, really wanted to have a crack at for a, a really long time. I'm not very good at it, but I, I really love it and I'm, I'm still doing it until we leave. And horse riding, I grew up on a farm, so I've pretty much been on horses since I could sit up. Most of my childhood memories involved the horses in some way, shape or form, and both my parents ride, so that helped a lot. I've had a number of horses, a number of experiences, and a number of falls. That's been a lot of fun. Yeah, that one must be cold by now. You're too nice for your own good, Sophie. She's extremely, you know, even-tempered and well-balanced and she kind of almost balances out the other characters when they kind of, you know, step over the line. I find it a little bit challenging because she is so flawless in a lot of ways. I mean, she has little flaws, but they're not seemingly obvious. She's always the one kind of picking up the pieces. I think she's, yeah, just very neutral. Ben? Sophie, what are you doing here? One of your backpacker guests is wandering around the castle. It's not one backpacker. They're both on the loose now. You know what will happen if the shrimps run into them? Yes, my head will be on a spike over the main gate by sunrise. Oh, sorry, it will be worse than that. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. I think she's a lot more rational than I am. Uh, I, I, I don't think she stresses about things as much as I do. <laughs> I think she's a bit nicer than I am too. Okay, we split up. I'll search up here, you take the ground floor. Uh, right then, if you find them, take them to the guest room at the top of the south wing and lock them in. I, I can relate, I can relate to that. And I can relate to, you know, obviously wanting to be perfect. So that's, you know, easy to try and tap into pretending to be perfect. <laughs> So, how are we going to get out of this mess into which I've so brilliantly dropped us? If we can get high enough, we might be able to spot a landmark and get our bearings from there. Oh, yes. Why didn't I think of that? This should be easy enough to climb. I'll do it if you like. Don't worry. I climbed lots of trees when I was younger. Oh, okay, but, but be careful. My favourite episode is probably the murder mystery episode at the moment just because it's so much fun getting into costume and, you know, playing it up like that. I really love that. Are you suggesting that I forced him to change his will during one of our sessions? Haha. <laughs> You're the one who suggested it, my dear. I didn't kill him, Inspector. He stormed through here after a fight with Marcus, but when I offered to talk, he said he just wanted a cup of tea. Fifteen minutes later, I heard the crash. It's, it's really lovely to be able to do what you love every day as work and it's got great cast and crew so it's really nice being around people that you enjoy working with. 